This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This year on the Street of Dreams, the markets have been very volatile and they got even more volatile this week with all major indices down for a second consecutive week, marking their worst two-week decline since June. The sharp sell-off this week was the continuation of the decline sparked by Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell's speech in Jackson Hole, Wyoming in August. Stocks took an even more negative tone after the Fed raised interest rates on Wednesday by three quarters of a point and forecast it could raise its funds rate to a high of 4.6% by early next year. The rate is currently three to three and a quarter. The Fed also forecast unemployment could rise to 4.4% next year from the current 3.7. As he did in Jackson Hole, the Fed Chairman Jerome Powell warned that the Federal Reserve will do what it needs to do to crush inflation. As one analyst said, by basically endorsing the idea of a recession, Powell set off the emotional phase of the bear market. The bad news is you're seeing, and you will continue to see it in the near term, indiscriminate selling of virtually every asset class. The good news is that tends to be at the end of virtually every bear market we've ever witnessed, and it's coming in the month of September and October, where that has historically been the normal state of affairs. Now, usually when stocks fall, Bonds offer a haven to investors, but prices have been dropping for both this year, an unusual occurrence. The 10-year Treasury yield rose to 3.7%, while the two-year Treasury yield is now at 4.2%, its highest since October of 2007. Keep in mind, yields rise as bond prices fall. Now, if you're feeling pessimistic about the future of the market, well, you're not alone. Market sentiment right now is overwhelmingly negative about the economy, about the stock market, about politics, about the global geopolitical situation. However, most indices like the S&P are already down and most bear markets are down historically about 32%. And every one of those bear markets and recessions, although unique in their own way, are consistent in how they make us feel panic and despair about the future, but they all end and they all birth a new bull market. Keep in mind the famous quote of famed investor Sir John Templeton, the most expensive words in the English language are it's different this time. Truth be told, there's plenty of catalysts why the markets will not only recover, but actually soar over the next 12 months. Inflation will eventually fall. The Fed at some point will pivot dovish. The Russian-Ukrainian war will end. Midterm elections will be over. And Treasury yields are actually very attractive now for investment. Stocks are oversold and undervalued, and there's lots and lots of cash waiting on the sidelines for someone to tell them to buy. The economy, despite all critics, is really on solid footing in spite of the Fed's efforts to slow it down. So the bad news is the stock market can be unpredictable, and nobody knows exactly how it will perform over the short term. There's a chance markets could fall further in the coming weeks or months, but the good news is we're not short-term investors. And in the long term, every dip in history has been temporary and new highs inevitable. Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have 68 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, gold-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. It's Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.